Uh, this is a kind of a part two of how I resolve my leaking issues on my O3 Hunted Continental. As you can see, I've got a brand new filter adapter in that thing. And it's got uh, the one inch hex on the end, which is really nice. You don't have to fool with that square thread anymore. But that's not why I bought this new one. And I'll go through that with you really quickly here. So here's the problem I discovered with the original. When you run it in to the filter adapter without gaskets, it doesn't mate up. And so it's actually giving you a false torque when you uh, torque it up with the gasket in it. You think, well, I'm getting 65 foot pounds, but you're really bumping up against the threads. I also, in the process, I found that my threads on this old F and M were galded, which contributed to the problem. And here's another shot of it here. It's just not enough to compress that gasket enough. Even the, the new ST07, which is the, uh, the new version, uh, revision 3. So we took drastic measures on it after talking to Tempest. They loaned me this tap. And what the deal is, is we tapped it out. I tapped it out and uh, ran it back in. And I was still having problems with not being able to bump up against that uh, uh, case there, the uh, accessory case. So I ordered a new filter adapter that you saw I was playing with earlier. There's a picture of the threads. You can see the threads where I, I didn't cut an entire circumference of threads. I just had to cut that kind of those bumps off. There's another one like that that you can't see, but there's actually two, two areas that the threads were cut. The rest of it had enough clearance. There's another shot of the other thread that I cut. But even after I cut the thread, I was still not getting completely flush. And of course, that's without any gaskets. The A-N gasket that goes on the end or the new fiber, not fiber, but uh, the new um, Teflon with stainless steel reinforced gasket. I, wasn't, I still wasn't able to make it bump completely up. I was starting to believe I might have had some kind of clearance problems in, you know, in the adapter itself, but that wasn't the case. So after I changed the threads with the tap, I installed the new one ordered it, installed it, and you can see it's perfect. It bumped up right away. Uh, screwed it in handy all the way, in fact. I wasn't able to do that with the other one. So I don't know, in conclusion, whether it was actually the galded threads on the old F and M, or I was running out of threads in the, in the uh, accessory case. Um, but one of the two fixed the problem. So. I'm happy now. Um, it's tight as hell. I'm not worried about that filter leaking anymore. That's worked really well. And then finally, you can see where I installed the uh, filter adapter, the new one with the gaskets. Everything checked out perfectly. It's tight as can be. I'm not worried about that thing moving around. I tried to move it around. It is some kind of tight. So I'm, and then I lock wired it both ways just to be safe. Lock wired everything up. And you can see there where I'm talking it up to 65 foot pounds. Worked out great. Uh, you might look for these sort of things if you have an issue with it or you're thinking about buying one. These are some things you might want to check first is run it in without the gaskets and make sure that it will go all the way. That would be the main recommendation. Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, adios.